Hey everyone, um, I am back from my cruise. Oh my god, no, it was so much fun. Like, I, I met a bunch of people. I met some people that, you know, they, it was so fun. I got some people to sub. If you're from the cruise and you're just seeing this, set a like, subscribe, comment. Well, I hope you're already subscribed. But, basically, I lost my voice on this cruise. That was so much fun. You know, so, yes, I finally got the Wild War Irritator, and as I was saying to people in the comment sections of my videos that I would be getting this probably right when I, probably right when I am on my cruise, but, so this is the last Wild War figure for Wave 2. I really hope that they do a third wave like they usually do with these. Um, so this is in the coastal biome. I hope you all can hear me pretty well, but Usually if you know me on this channel, I'm usually really loud and excited, but man, you know But today I'm just I don't have it. I've lost my voice y'all <laughs> It's a good thing like, Here's the barcode for you guys So we're going to compare this to some other stuff at the end of this video Hopefully I remember to. So let's cut this open right now, shall we? Um, oh, uh, okay. One of the most satisfying things to do when you're, you know, you're unboxing a new dinosaur toy for your collection. Some people try to you know, keep the box in the most pristine condition. They try to open it. Sorry, I got the whole shit out of the... out of the, the car for 12 hours, y'all. Yeah. All the way from fucking Jacksonville to the Ohio River. So, that was fun. Oh, oh my god, I'm not damaging this figure anyway. Ooh, I like the arms like that. That looks cool. Um, I see that this has a fade on it, but to be honest, the fade doesn't look terrible. Like, I'd probably put this up there. Like, I'll definitely be buying another one of these irritators. Um, so, let me just put the tail in like that. And this looks really nice. Honestly, this is probably... Sculpt wise, this is definitely up there guys. I would, I really like the sculpt on this. Now something Mattel got on the original Irritator is that they got the shape of the mouth correctly. It wasn't exactly like a narrow point, it was more squarish almost. Which is, it opened up like a pelican. And I see it's got the, the throat kind of right. Um, so let's go over the colors real quick. Um, so the head here is, oh, there's a hair on it. The head is cast in a dark, almost like a leather or shoe brown color. And you got this greenish Mountain Dew colored paint around the, 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 the face, the, I'll call it a crust. Sorry guys, from Florida to the Ohio River area, the allergies are definitely get you. Plus being in the middle of the ocean for five days. Um, the eyes color painted red. It's got a, it doesn't have a painted pupil, but it's a darker color. So it looks pretty good, not gonna lie. The teeth are good. Uh, a lot of this is made out of a harder hollow plastic. And you got this the green color kinda going down right where the button's at, which kinda irritates me. I hope you kind of get the whole joke I gave y'all. It irritates, the irritator irritates me. <laughs> so the, most of the neck is casted in this brown. So it, the brown's actually similar to the original one. It's more like a brick red. Um, you got all these little small scales all over the body and the legs and then the tail. I really like the arms on this because the original one had like smaller hands. Like now they got like huge fucking hands on this thing. It looks so good. 
I'm sorry, but you got some of this blackish pattern. I'm going to call it black. Um, so I, honestly, I wish that this black kind of went all the way up to, you know, the head. It make the rest of the dinosaur look pretty good. Um, so what they did and what they normally don't do is they paint on like stuff like this on the legs where normally I would wish it was in red. I'm going to call this color red. Um, the yeah, legs can move out and in like that. Um, they can go out and in like this. Their weight, the hips can move. Um, I don't like the transition from the colors, which I call the fade. I don't like it. It looks like it's very like clean. I don't, I don't like it clean. You know, but they definitely re-sculpted this entire figure. Maybe not the head, per se, but the head is literally perfect. Because it kind of matches the new Irritator for 2023. It's got like a whole new look. Um, here's the scan code um, for those who need it. Um, so, oh, I forgot to mention the arms can go out and in like that. They can go forward and backwards. Just like this. And he stands up pretty well. My room's a big mess, y'all, so I'm reviewing stuff on my bed. He stands up pretty well, actually. Um, I mean, he, you might have to, like, balance it on its tail. Other than that, yeah, it starts to fall over, but I'm on a bed. So it's like, you know. I'm just gonna get the other irritator. I don't have the Hammond Collection one yet, but when I do get it, I'll compare all three of these. The cat was definitely laying on my bed this entire trip. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, and before I go get the other figures, I might as well complete the actual review by, you know who you are, showcasing the sounds and the actual feature. Let me turn off the fan for better audio. It's so hot up here, you know? I hate it up here. Let's go get some comparison. I'm gonna get the other three from the wave. Guys, I'm so tired. I'm I have the super colossal indirector too, which I'll probably do that tomorrow since it's a Sunday and I want to provide a video for Sunday. You know? So I've literally been slacking all week. I'll be back. First I would like to show show it next to the Sound strike irritator actually. Um, as I said, the colors, the brown shades are actually very similar to each other. Um, something I noticed on this one is that they, I mean, they got the, they kind of changed the design of the fin, the, I meant the sail. Um, here, let me do it like this to where you guys can see. It looks like the, the Sound Strike Irritator has a taller sail while this one has a, a smaller one. This one has like the fin, the, I'm gonna call these like, I'm gonna call these like fins, but it's got them on the underside of its tail and on the back to upside. It also has a little bit of it on its neck. And as I said, the hands on this one are way smaller. This one, this one has more of a, like a reptilian scale to it. Well, this one doesn't really, it's got a couple larger scales. And as I said, the hands are definitely, are bigger. And really the tail looks different. Oh, sorry. The whole posture is a bit different. It looks like this one's like going down and trying to fish while this one's more like this one could be like he's swimming, like in like in the in a river or something. Um, let's go compare it with some other figures. 
Okay, we also have um, the other four, other three um, wild roars for the wave. Um, you guys, I might do a scan code video sometime this. Um, I'll probably do that tomorrow because I have almost all the dino trackers except like the, the Hunt and Chomp Rex, the Trike, and the Indominus. So we got the Nigerosaurus, the Orca Raptor, Regala Ceratops, and Irritator. They've done one, one redo and three new species. Guys, I'm gonna go, I'm tired right now, so I'm gonna upload this and go to bed. I'm gonna talk to you all tomorrow. Well, not only talk, I'm gonna do a video tomorrow. Have a good one. Good night. Bye.